what's happening right now live at 5 tonight. Funeral services are now set for the 20-year-old woman killed at Coral Ridge Mall. Police say Andrea Farrington was shot in the back by a mall security officer Friday night while she was working. A visitation is set for tomorrow afternoon at the Community Hope Church in Montezuma. Her funeral will be Wednesday morning at 10.30. Good evening, everybody. I'm Matt Hamill. Thank you for joining us. Investigators are still tracking down all the details on what led to that shooting at Coral Ridge. Meantime, just over a month ago, a woman died after police say her ex-boyfriend stabbed her in the Marion Hivey parking lot. The crimes in the corridor are sparking a conversation about violence against women. CBS 2 News reporter Steffi Lee talked with Resource Centers today. She joins us live from Coralville with more. Steffi? Well, Matt, officials are still not saying much about what caused the shooting to happen Friday night here at the mall. And the resource centers I spoke with today also say they don't know what caused these tragedies, but say more needs to happen to educate others on violence prevention. Tara Beck with Waypoint Services in Cedar Rapids says she wants to see violence rates drop in her communities. I think another really important aspect of change is going to be um, that concerned community members um, also start to speak up. She says speaking up about any potential violence takes courage, but leads to an improved culture. In the past few months, Eastern Iowa was hit by a deadly stabbing and shooting. Both were young women. 29-year-old Lindsay Donald was allegedly stabbed by her ex-boyfriend in the Marion Hivey parking lot, according to her family. But there's a lot of behaviors that build up to um, to what we call the end of the spectrum with the homicide. And authorities still have not confirmed what caused 22-year-old Alexander Kozak to shoot 20-year-old Andrea Farrington. I think that internal instinct that people have that something's not quite right about this interaction, that can be um, the prompter. Resource center officials say if something prompts you to question any interaction, to take action. That we speak with them. We intervene, we find out what maybe they need or what we can do. Because it's that first step that may prevent a scene like this and a life taken too soon. Farrington's family says Co that she had reported Kozak before the shooting for harassing her, but authorities have not confirmed that report as the motive in this case. We did confirm that Kozak did have a permit to carry, but Mitchell County Sheriff's Office said that this um, this was revoked today, and the mall says it is working with authorities in this investigation. Covering the corridor in Coralville, Steffi Lee, CBS 2 News, live at 5.